Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedboarding video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be building in the world of Sam Shuno, which is the world that we got from the expansion pack, the Sims 4 CC Living, and I'm going to be building a dream penthouse apartment. So before we get too far into the video, I did just want to start it off a little bit differently this week because something amazing happened this week. The channel hit 100,000 subscribers, which... I still can't wrap my head around the fact that a hundred thousand people have enjoyed my content enough to want to follow along with it and subscribe and you know see what I do every single week and so yeah I wanted to start off this video by just saying a massive thank you because I just I'm still in absolute awe and to be honest I'm a little bit speechless I don't really know what to say because I actually can't comprehend a hundred thousand people that's a lot of people like that is a lot of people and that amount of people have enjoy my content enough to want to follow along and you know be a part of this little sims speed building channel with me and it's just it's absolutely amazing and so yeah i just wanted to start this video off by just saying i appreciate you all so much and it means the absolute world to me and so yeah just quick little swappy message over i don't really know how to transition out of that actually if i'm being honest like, how do i go from that to speaking about penthouse but we'll, we'll get there this penthouse ends up having three bedrooms and four bathrooms and it's built on a 40 by 30 lot. Now, this penthouse is absolutely massive. Even though it only has three bedrooms, it also ends up having two lounge spaces, I think like three dining room spaces. There is also a home gym, a home spa, a home sauna. There is a home like video recording like studio room i was personally thinking like some sort of like content creator could potentially live here and so they have like a little streaming room on the third floor there is so much space and just so much going on in this penthouse so you might notice the the video is quite long this week and so if i was you i would definitely grab a cup of tea or um, grab a cup of coffee a snack something i've personally got a cup of tea with me and yeah because it is a big one but i had such a hard time deciding on what to cut out of this video and so I decided to keep the majority of it in like in dribs and drabs I cut out like a few hallway sections here and there but hallways aren't as interesting as like other features of the build I found personally like the gym or the sauna and so yeah definitely grab yourself something to snack on because this one it is a bit of a big one but this week I just wanted to build something in the world of Sam Shuno and I just wanted to build some sort of like penthouse because it's been a while since I've built anything like this. I think my last penthouse apartment build was coming up like a year and a half ago-ish. I remember it was when we got, you know, the industrial loft kit, which was I think like the, the fourth kit that we had for The Sims 4, which is actually mind blowing if you think about it because we've got so many different kits at this point. But I think it was like the fourth kit that we got for The Sims 4 and I wanted to build like an industrial penthouse just basically inspired by the new kit and so that was the last time that I built a penthouse apartment and so I felt like it was a little bit overdue and so yeah I decided to build this house now I do want to say I did do a little bit of research and I wanted to find kind of like a reference picture to kind of go off when I was building this because I didn't really know how I wanted it to look and so I did find a picture that I found on Pinterest I'll pop it up on the screen so you can have a little look now I'm not sure if this is a real villa or if this is like a computer generated kind of image or whatever it is but it's funny because if you look at the picture and then you look at where I built this it seems like in the picture it's meant to be some secluded place in some like beautiful country that looks like it's got palm trees everywhere and I've decided to use the picture take inspiration for it but build it in the middle of the fashion district in the sims 4 like in a, in a city world which i thought was really funny but i really liked the just the look of it and just all the different kind of like sections of the picture because when i was trying to find like a penthouse to try and use as a reference point and get some inspiration from i could only really seem to find interiors of penthouse apartments which don't get me wrong that's great but i wanted like an exterior and so i think i just ended up searching like beach villa or something and then this picture came up i instantly fell in love with it like i said i just love all the different like sections and all the different like structure points of it and so yeah i tried my best to try and replicate it and this is this is how it turned out so i hope you like it but getting on and actually talking a little bit more about the build and just what I'm doing right now. So you can see that I've already done the main structure of the build and now I'm coming over and I'm just focusing on this little kind of like hot springs area. Now, initially, I, so first off, I, when I came into this build, I'm not gonna lie to you, I had no idea what kind of sim that I wanted to build this house for, what kind of like sims I imagined living here in my safe file. All I knew was I wanted some kind of like rich and famous sims to live here because 
if we're being realistic, you're, you you live on a penthouse apartment in the fashion district. It's one of the most prestigious places to live, probably in the whole entire game. I felt like I had to have some sort of rich and famous sim to live here, but I didn't have a clue what kind of sim I was building for. And it wasn't until I came around and I started doing that little hot springs area of the statue that it really kind of started like make placements in my mind of kind of like imagining the sim that could live here. Because originally I wanted to place down a swimming pool where I put the hot springs, but annoyingly, The Sims 4 is a bit, it's a bit weird sometimes because for some reason I wasn't allowed to put a swimming pool in that certain area where, where I ended up putting the hot springs. I couldn't put a fountain either. The only thing I could place down as like a water feature was the hot springs. Now the hot springs, the item itself, it came from the Snowy Escape expansion pack, which Snowy Escape we got on Zen Bar's house. Your Sims can go to the hot springs and they can relax and it's just very, it's very zen and it's very peaceful. And when I placed down the hot springs, it just gave me an instant idea of the of the kind of Sim that I imagine living in this house, which I personally imagine to be some sort of like health and fitness, like wellness influencer. This is part of the reason why this house also ends up having like a whole, there's a literal whole spa in this penthouse, but then it also ends up having like a sauna room, a gym room, ends up having a literal content creation room on the third floor. The reason why all of that like kind of came into play and the reason why I placed it down is because once I placed down that hot springs, it just gave me the inspiration for the idea for The Sims and I just instantly fell in love with it. And I just, I don't know, I just thought I'd tell you that because I, like I said, I had no idea what kind of sim I was building for. And I mean, realistically, you don't have to have like a wellness influencer sim live here. You could have, I don't know, a lawyer or you could have a mechanic or whoever you fancy. But in my head, it just made perfect sense. And yeah, I just wanted to mention it. Also, I do want to mention it, it kind of set off like the tone for the interior of the house because the interior of this penthouse, I spent an embarrassing amount of time making like custom furniture pieces and just really trying to make it feel as like light modern and zen and peaceful as I could possible. It ends up being like custom kitchen counters, custom fireplaces. I made it so all the bedrooms have like built in beds and it just, it just, again, it all came from that initial like, it was actually quite, I, I didn't initially plan for it because initially I wanted to put a swimming pool there, but the where I'm building in the game, I couldn't place down at a swimming pool in that one little section of the build, which is really annoying, but like I said, The Sims 4 is a bit weird sometimes. Also, actually, that is a good point. I feel like I should mention where I'm actually building and how I'm able to build on one of the penthouse lots in the game. So I'm sure everyone, I mean, I'm gonna slightly the obvious here, but I'm sure everyone knows that we've got apartments, like apartments in The Sims 4 City Living Expansion Pack, which came out, Oh, forever and a day ago, but that came out a good good few years back. But in the world of San Marino, we have like the regular apartments that your Sims can just move into, and they have like neighbours. Like you, they might have noisy neighbours. They might have like party house at neighbours, and you know, you've got your neighbours normally. But there is three different penthouse lots within the world of San Marino, which you can build on. Like you can completely bulldoze them and just build whatever you fancy. There is one in the fashion district, which is the one that I'm building on. There is also one in the arts quarter. And then there is one in the, ah, oh, what's it? The I think it's the financial district, I think. It's the one where the little symbol is a little money bag and it's where the gym is. Basically there's three different penthouse lots in the game and they basically work the same way as like a normal lot would. So you know when it comes around to building in apartments, like renovating apartments in the game and you have some like certain restrictions, like you can't change the windows, you can't change like certain walls here and there and some of the apartments might have like certain features tied to them. Penthouse apartments, you're pretty much got free reign apart from a few things like the swimming pools and you know like there is a few limitations here and there but you can pretty much build whatever you fancy on these lots if you are curious on the lot that i'm building on like i said it's the one in the fashion district but if you look into the top left hand side of the screen it says one something something penthouse that's all i can make out from it but that is the exact lot that i'm building on and so if you want to place this down and replace the original penthouse that we got then that is where I built it. But yeah, I often get questions on my previous penthouse build that I did, how I'm building apartments like that. It, it is only restricted to three different lots in the game, but it is really nice that the fact that we can actually build a few different penthouses if we do decide to, because you don't even have to build penthouses. This is the thing. One of the penthouses or like one of the penthouse lots, it's not actually a residential in the game. It is the, the lounge. I think off memory, I haven't got my Sims to go there in a while, but I think it's called 
the Stargazer Lounge. You know where your Sims can go and like, do karaoke and stuff and it's like on top of a building? You can make that into a residential. You can make it into a restaurant. You can make it into, I don't know, a, a fashion retail store if you want to. It, they basically gave us free reign on three lots in the game. And so, yeah, that is how I'm building on one of like the apartment lots. It's a little bit of like a special lot type that we got from the, the City Living expansion pack. But yeah, I thought I'd mention it because I still often get questions on my previous video how I'm building an apartment like that. But anyway, moving on from that and actually getting back and talking a little bit more about the build and also what I'm doing right now. So you can see that I pretty much already built the main structure of the build. Like I said, I was looking at a picture for like the exterior, kind of like the front portion, but the back portion, I just tried to make it feel like it had some structure points to it because I just didn't want the back of it to be completely flat. Because if you was to look at the picture, I'll repop it up on the screen. The picture itself, to me, I imagine the back of this lot, or like the back of this picture, it looks quite flat. And so I just tried to add like different bump outs and just different sections just to kind of almost break it up a bit. Now, this penthouse ends up having so many different balconies. I think in total, there must be at least at least six different balconies or something. And I tried to make it so every single balcony has a bit of a different purpose. So we have one balcony that ends up having a hot tub. We end up having like one meditation, like yoga balcony. Like I said, when I was building this, once I placed down that hot springs, it just clicked in my mind that a sim that lives here is like a health and fitness wellness guru. They're a bit of an influencer. And so I wanted there to be as many like them kind of activities that I could fit into this build as possible. So yeah, we have like a, a yoga mat. It also has like little stones around it and I placed down like a water bottle to make it look like that was the Sims bottle of water when they were like working out. There is also some like nice smelly stuff to get your Sims nice and energized. Then there is also one balcony that's got a massage table on it and pretty much nothing else. <laughs> it's basically on the third floor and it's the balcony that kind of comes out from the master bedroom. On there, it's literally just the massage table and a few plants dotted about. It's very peaceful up there, but I didn't want to clutter it up because I didn't want to overly clutter this house. I tried to make it as detailed as I could possible, but detailed in the sense of detailed minimalism, if that makes any sense. Hopefully you'll see what I mean as we go throughout the build, but I tried to hold back on placing down loads of clutter because I imagine that the sim that lives here isn't someone that keeps loads of stuff. I imagine them to be quite minimalist in that sense but we also have this balcony over here which ends up having kind of like a little barbecue area so i placed down the barbecue which is from the desert Lux kit and then i placed down a little mini fridge next to it the mini fridge is from the discover university expansion pack but we also have like a, a big table which is from my wedding stories with the matching chairs i was just thinking that maybe the sim likes to come out here maybe host a few different parties and maybe just sit out here and have like dinner parties with their friends but then there is also another balcony kind of like on the left hand side of this one which ends up having uh, some more sun lounges and then also kind of like a little bar item so your sims can make some drinks then there is also like a back balcony on the ground floor that ends up having just like some seating areas and just like a few different plants. Your sims can go out there and breed. Honestly, there is so many different seating areas and lounging areas in this build. I feel like if your sim needs to get away, you could probably come here and use it as a rental and your sims could just have like the most peaceful little staycation. They could maybe come here with like their partner or something because there is just so many different peaceful elements of the build. And then also we've got the hot springs as well. Like your sims can literally go in the hot springs in this build as well as the swimming pool. I just try to fill it with as much stuff that I feel like is related to wellness as possible and just try and find like a different section for it. Also, something that I do want to mention before we get further on into the furnishing of this video, I did decide to cut out the floor plan for the build only because I'm not gonna lie to you, it took me an embarrassing amount of time trying to figure out the floor plan for this build because I had no idea how I wanted all the rooms to be laid out. And initially when I came in, like I said, I didn't know initially who I was building for. It wasn't until I placed down the hot springs that I kind of started to get a bit of an idea. But when I was doing the floor plan, I just, I was moving the camera around left, right and center. And it was just, especially once it was sped up, I feel like I might potentially have given someone a bit of motion sickness. And so for that purpose, I did decide to cut out the floor plan aspect of this build. But like always, I'll have overhead screenshots at the end of the video so you can kind of see how I've laid it all out. But the way that I pretty much laid it out is you come in through the first floor, you've kind of got like the little elevator room, and then you kind of go in into an open plan, kind of like lounge and then kitchen space. And then you have like a dining room table. Then you have like a massive hallway, which has like a grand piano in it. And then we have like the spa section. The spa section,
section is kind of sorted into almost like three, four different rooms. So you kind of have a hallway, which is the first room, and then you have the sauna in one room, then you have a really like peaceful bathroom, and then you have the actual spa itself, and then you also have like a gym. It's kind of like all sectioned off, but I tried to make it so all of them kind of like wellness bits and bobs are quite close together. But then when you go to the second floor, we end up having another lounge space. We end up also having like a second dining room space. We then have two of the bedrooms, and then two of the bathrooms, and then on on the third floor i tried to make it feel like it was a bit of a a separate space to the rest of the apartment because i feel like there is other people like there is other sims other than this like wellness influencer that lives here but it's kind of like a little bit separated in terms of like their bedroom so on the third floor you kind of go up some staircases and then there's kind of like another lounge seating area like another sitting room for your sims but then there's kind of like a split level and you go up some staircase and you initially go into like the main bedroom but the way that i tried to do it in terms of like the walls is even though it's a bedroom i tried to make it feel like part of it was a bit of a hallway and you have two doors going off like the main bedroom one door goes into probably one of the best bathrooms i think i've ever decorated it's absolutely huge but it goes into this massive bathroom it's got a shower a tub you know toilet sink all the bathroom -y kind of items but then we also have like another door in this bedroom hallway section which goes into the content creation room and then you can kind of come out of the hallway and then there's kind of like a bit of a, a split within the walls and then you feel like you're in the bedroom which then also has like a walk-in wardrobe hopefully that makes sense but i tried to make it feel like a little bit separate to the rest of the apartment because i feel like the main sim that lives here like the fitness influencer they sleep on the third floor and like there is other sims that lives in this apartment with her but if i'm being honest i still i'm not 100 percent sure on what kind of sims i want to live in this apartment because i was i was debating between two different ideas in terms of one of the household members so basically the idea that i had was obviously the fitness influencer lives here she's got tons of money she loves fitness she loves going to the spa she loves she loves all them kind of bits and bobs and i was thinking okay well i want to have one room for a housekeeper so there is a housekeeper's bedroom in this in this build it just looks like a regular bedroom to be honest with you you could just definitely make it into maybe like a teen's bedroom or maybe just like a, a kid's bedroom if you wanted to renovate it or something but i did personally imagine it to be a bit of a, a housekeeper or a, a butler's bedroom but then there is a second bedroom and initially when i was decorating it i was thinking well what about if this influencer just happens to live with her friend like her mate lives with her i don't know what the reason is for them living together but for some reason she lives here with her mate and you know it's all good but then i came to the idea of what about instead of it being her friend that lives in the third bedroom what about if this fitness influencer had like a daughter or something like a teenage daughter and she lives in the third bedroom i'm still a bit undecided which which route i think will be better whether i should have two fitness influencer friends living together and one just happened to have bag the the bit of the bigger bigger and better bedroom on the third floor or if i should have the the fitness influencer and then their teenage daughter i'm just i'm still in two minds about it so i don't know let me know what you think i should do but in terms of like the housekeeper i was thinking it would probably be an active sim that you could probably interact with rather than like a butler that wears like a fancy uniform because although i do enjoy the butler system whenever i do play with it sometimes they do annoy me a little bit like they'll just randomly start cleaning in the middle of the night and they won't go to bed and then you can't speed through the time it just gets a bit irritating sometimes the butlers so i was thinking what, what, what about if i make it into an actual just housekeeper and they're just a sim that wears like housekeeping clothes whatever that means but you know like maybe they wear clothes with like a little apron they've got like a level 10 cooking skill level 10 like gardening skill and if there was a cleaning skill they'd probably have level 10 and they'll basically just be a living housekeeper or like a living butler that's what i was thinking for the butler anyway but yeah anyway moving on from that and actually getting back and talking about the build so as you can see i finished off the exterior and now i've already moved on into the inside of this build and i started off in kind of like the little the entrance elevator hallway if you want to put it that way so basically with penthouse apartment lots you need an elevator for your sims to be able to actively get to the lot you know how like in regular apartments there will just be an elevator in the middle of the hallway between all the different apartments and your sims will just automatically just go into the elevator you don't actually like see them they just they go in and then they disappear and then they like appear downstairs or something well basically you still need an elevator when it comes around to doing penthouse apartments it is still something that your sims need to like go up to get up and down within the floor now when you place down an elevator into the game 
basically every single type of sim will be able to come through that elevator and so from playing it with the fame system myself a few times i knew that if i wanted to have a penthouse apartment i needed there to be like a little separate elevator hobby space hobby lobby not hobby <laughs> hobby lobby space so your sims basically when someone comes up the elevator they don't just basically walk straight in because previously in the past i've had sims i've lived in penthouses and they'll be famous and like photographers will literally just show up and, my, and, and they're in my sims front room because where i didn't separate the the elevator with a door so i couldn't lock the door like sim random sims will just come up into my sims apartment which i didn't exactly like and so basically whenever i do do penthouse builds in all fairness it's not that often but whenever i do do them i always want to make sure that there's like a little separate entrance lobby space so then not random like non-player sims don't just like walk into sims kitchen or something and so you would have seen i started off with that area placed down the elevator placed down the little mailbox and then also the trash can again with the mailbox and the trash can it works like how it would normally work within a normal typical apartment so you know in apartments say say your neighbors just like jammed the bin and then you have to get your sim to try and repair the bin they like try and push the bin together that can still potentially happen in this apartment there is also the mailbox the little like mail person will come upstairs and put the mail in and there is still like the regular apartment items but i just made it into a little bit of a separate space i tried to make it feel like it wasn't part of the apartment and it was just kind of like part of the the building that just so happens to be decorated in a quite similar way to the inside of the actual penthouse itself but then you would have just seen i did kind of like the the entrance kind of like coat rack area i feel like in every single build that i do i put a coat rack or like a pair of shoes by the front door but to me it makes sense and i just like building with realism and so you would have seen i placed down some kind of like little wall decals they're from snowy escape you're going to see them a lot by the way in this build i use them a ton in this build but i basically placed them down and i tried to make it seem like that was a divider i then used these same like wall decoration pieces and then actually plopped them onto the ball and then i merged in a like little coat rack decoration that we got from snowy escape and i merged it into the actual like the wooden panels itself to make it look like it was built in i then got this it's almost like a little, like an ottoman. We got it from Spa Day. I also used it on the exterior, but I basically plopped that in and I sized it up ever so slightly. And then I got these tiny little, they're kind of like smaller ottomans, like little square ottomans. I basically moved them up into the actual bigger ottoman that just looks like a, a slab of like concrete or something. But I moved it up to make it look like it was pillows. And then I plopped down some like shoes and some keys and just a little handbag to make it feel like that is like the apartment's entrance area and maybe the sim has just you know she's plopped her handbag down she's plopped her keys down and then there's also like a a vase with with a plant in as well but then you actually walk in to the initial kind of like open floor plan kitchen and lounge space so this is where one of my favorite features of the whole entire build comes into play because this is where i have the custom made like double-sided fireplace I was so happy with the way this turned out. I actually, I'm going to try and do this a lot more often. Now, I cannot take credit for this idea. Like, I like to give credit where credit is due. This is not my idea. I honestly would have not thought of that. So this idea to make like a custom double-sided fireplace is from someone under the name of, I think you pronounce it Chinook or Chinook. I'm really sorry. I'm, I, I always struggle when it comes down to pronouncing names. So I'm really sorry if I've said that incorrectly. But if you are not familiar with this Sims YouTube channel, if you like like stop motion speed builds, they, they will be your cup of tea. The stuff that they pull out, like they honestly, one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube and I love every single thing that they do, but they also do a few like tutorials here and there. They have a tutorial. I'll link it in the description box down below. So if you want like a more in-depth way of explaining how to actually do the, the double-sided fireplace, you can go ahead and watch it. But basically they have this tutorial and it shows you how to make a custom like wall aquarium as well as the custom like double sided fireplace. And I completely just got that whole entire idea of them. So give credit where credit is due, completely not my idea, but it just completely just made the build. Like I just was so happy. Once I placed it in, I was thinking, how am I actually gonna do anything like better than that? Like going forward, like it's such a smart idea. I, like I said, I will link them in the description box down below. So if you want an in-depth tutorial on how you do it, then you can find it there. But hopefully you would have caught the drift 
of what I was doing. But please go and watch their video anyway because they show you how to make like a custom aquarium. It's like, it's amazing. I was almost going to do the custom aquarium in this build, but then I couldn't really find a nice place to make it fit in. But basically the way that you make the custom fireplace is you get these columns from Spa Day and you size them down and then you move them into the ceiling. You then get these slabs, which are again from Spa Day. You need Spa Day for this, by the way, but you then get these slabs, which are from Spa Day. You size them up and then put them on the floor and then you, you put down, I think like, I, th I think I put down six. You basically put them down onto the floor. You then get a normal wall shelf, like one from base game, and then plop it on top of these like slabs that you've placed down. You then go into the debug menu and you find these little logs of wood and you then individually place all these wooden logs. And then basically the way that you get it to be functional, because by the way, that is 100% functional. The way that you get it to work is then you get a normal fireplace, anyone that you fancy in the game, you size it down really small and you pop it in between the, the wooden logs. You make it so then a little bit of it's poking out so then you can click on it, you get your sims to light it and then there's fire. Like It's a custom made fireplace, 100% usable, honestly. I'm so happy with it. It can be a little bit fiddly, but the only, like, the only real fiddly part about it is honestly just individually placing down the logs. You would have seen, I kind of like skipped over that because it took me a while to individually place every single log and like rotate it in a way and like scale it up or scale it down. But it's quite easy. Just the hardest part about it is just getting the logs not to clip onto like the shelving unit. You might have saw I use my trick of placing down the water bottles. So every single like surface that we have in the game, like whether it be counters or like bedside tables, chest of drawers, whatever it is, normally they always have like slots for clutter to clip to. And nine times out of 10, I normally like to free place my own clutter. So I normally have this little trick that I always tend to go for, where I basically place down at some sort of clutter. It normally ends up being the water bottles that we got from the everyday clutter kit, only because they're really small and they're skinny and you can see it because it's where it's quite tall if you place down like a book or something it kind of like pokes out and you can kind of get an idea for where the filler object is because basically i just use them as filler but i basically place down these little water bottles onto the shelf so then when i was automatically like placing automatically <laughs> when, I'm, when i was placing down the logs they wasn't going to clip to that once i had placed the logs in the way that i liked them i then just lit the water bottles and yeah like i said it's a completely usable custom fireplace and I'm just, I'm so happy with the way it looked and I'm just, I really hope you like it as well. But like I said, that wasn't my or original idea. That was something that I saw in a tutorial from, it's actually quite an old video, but it is a really, really useful one. And like I said, in the same video, they show you how to make like a custom wall aquarium. So like you can have a whole entire wall with just fish and like coral and just, you know, like sea seaweed and all that kind of stuff in it. But yeah, I highly recommend the tutorial if you haven't seen it before, but Anyway, moving from that, as you would have seen, as well as that, next to the fireplace, or kind of like behind the fireplace, we then have the kitchen. I tried to make custom counters when it came around to doing the kitchen. Now, unfortunately, the way that you saw the counters wasn't 100% usable, and I probably should have play tested it before I came in and like started building it, because I was just... Once I did that fireplace, I was just so inspired. I was just so excited just to furnish the whole rest of this apartment. And so I didn't really think about coming in and playtesting something before I did it. But you would have seen the way that I did the counters. I basically use these ones, which are from the Island Living Expansion Pack. I plopped them down. The reasons why I use them ones is because the end pieces of them have kind of like a... A bit of a waterfall effect if you understand what i mean and i really liked that about them so basically i placed them down but i didn't like the color of the counters itself and so what i did is i went into the wall decorations category and then i found this wall sign which is from i think dying out again that's going to be something that you're going to see a lot in this video because i use that for like custom made beddings and like custom just furniture pieces but you're going to see that a lot throughout this video but basically what i did i placed down this wall sign onto the wall and then using the gravity pull feature with the tool mod i then pulled it so then it went in front of the counters so then we still have like the nice white countertop and then we still have like the waterfall pieces on the side but that the actual like initial cabinets and like the the creamy part of the cabinets was completely covered i then got the snowy escape kind of like little wall decoration piece and then i moved it into the wall sign the, the snowy escape decoration piece is what made it unfunctional, which again, it was my mistake. I probably should have play tested that before I came in and I just got really happy. After the fireplace, I was just, I, I was just so excited just to finish the rest of the build that I just didn't want to take any time out from furnishing it. And so I probably should have play tested that, but yeah, them like wooden, 
slats from that we got from the Snowy Escape expansion pack, once I added them onto the wall sign that I like merged into the counter, that's when it became unusable. I think they must have some sort of like footprint or something because no matter how like far far away into the cabinet I pushed them, they were just the game didn't like it and my sim couldn't make her fish and chips and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to get rid of them slats on the majority of the counters but hopefully you would have seen that the way that I did the kitchen, it kind of goes in a bit of an L shape and there's kind of like a kitchen island like counter in the middle. I kept them on that one because on that one I basically just used it for decoration anyway and so I still have like a little bit of the wooden slats, so you still kind of see the same idea but they're just not on the, the counter pieces like next to the fridge and they're not on the counter pieces next to the sink because otherwise they would have been unfunctional, if that makes any sense. But as well as that, you'd have quickly just seen me do the dining room space. So in the dining room, I placed down like a base game table and then at some chairs, which are from the, I think they're from Spa Day, I think. I use so much Spa Day in this build. I use majority of the Spa Day game pack, the Dine Out game pack, and then Snowy Escapes. I feel like they're the three main packs that I used when it came around to like the interior furnishing because I feel like the, the items that we got from that pack were that kind of like modern luxury style that I was almost looking for. And so yeah, they're, they're the majority of the packs if you're curious, but like always, I'll have every single pack that I used in this build linked in the description box down below, as well as like the build details, how much it costs. I have no idea how much this penthouse is gonna cost. Generally, it could be anywhere between like 200,000 smileons and a million smileons. I actually have no idea. I didn't look once I finished the build. I just saved the build. I saved my builds like multiple times. I don't know how I didn't see it, but I saved the build and then just, you know, exited the game. But yeah, it will be linked in the description box down below. But then as well as the dining room space, you'd have quickly just seen me do a little home gym. So over here, this kind of like little section that we're now moving on to, this is more like the, the proper wellness area. So this is where we have the home gym, we have the home spa, we have the sauna, and then we also have one of the bathrooms. There is actually two bathrooms on this level, but if you if you saw like a little single door, kind of like by the entrance hallway, there was a little single door that went into another bathroom. But I mean, like always, I only ever show the furnishing of one bathroom within my builds, and especially this one, even though I recorded every single one of them, I only showed the, the recording of one of them just because each bathroom, I'm not joking, took me like, 45 minutes minimum. You'll see why when we actually move on into the actual bathroom, but I tried to create like custom shower shelves within like the tiles and it just very long winded. Worth it, don't get me wrong, the payoff is 100% worth it, but I do only show the furnishing of one of the bathrooms and it ends up being the, oh, you know the bedroom that I was saying could either be for like a, a friend of the influencer or maybe their daughter, it's their bathroom. The rest of them, the, like the main bathroom on the third level of the house, that was way too long of a footage to include. But like always, you'll see the screenshots of absolutely everything at the end of the video. So in case you are curious of what anything looks like, then it will be in the screenshots. But anyway, yeah, so I just quickly did like a little gym area. In the gym, it ends up having two treadmills. One of them, I don't even know what they're called. You know, like the multifunctioning machines that you have in real life, where you can like work your arms, but then you can also work your legs. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what it's called, but one of them in the gym as well. And then there is also a boxing bag. Also placed down like a TV onto the wall. And then I tried to make like a little custom tray, which I do a lot in this build. You can see I'm actually moving over and I'm doing it over here as well in the spa room. But basically in the gym, I wanted there to be a little tray with kind of like water bottles. So maybe like this fitness influencer, maybe her mates come round and maybe they like, like to work out together. Maybe she does like a few workout classes or something. And she maybe provides a few different water bottles and they're all just like plonked on top of a tray. The water bottles that I use, by the way, they're not the ones that we got from the Everyday Clutter Kit because the ones that we got from the Everyday Clutter Kit, they're more like a water bottle that you'd have in like your packed lunch where you're like colorful or something. The water bottles that I use that look like a water bottle that you'd buy in like a supermarket, they are from the high school years debug menu. I, d I still get to see them in my game. I don't know where they come from, but they are in the debug menu for, no, not high school years, growing together. I don't know why I said high school years, it doesn't even sound similar, <laughs> but they are from the Growing Together debug menu, if you are curious. But yeah, then you would have seen I moved over and I started doing the sauna. In the sauna, I tried to make it look like there was kind of like a, a basket full of coal, even though there is literally like a coal basket within the sauna object piece itself. I just wanted to fill it out as nicely as I could and I just wanted it to feel like there was extra coal for 
you know, when your sims wanting to go into the sauna. And so what I did is I got these individual pieces of coal, which are from the seasons, I think just regular build and buy. And I sized them up and I sized them down. I then got a laundry basket, which the one that I've used is from the Parenthood game pack. And then I merged it into the sauna piece. And then it looks like it's a little bit of a, a coal basket, if that makes any sense. I purposely, by the way, I purposely didn't place down laundry into this build so there is no like washing machine no tumble dryer of course if you want to add that in definitely do so but when it came around to furnishing it i was debating placing down like a little utility room into that initial like bathroom by the front door but then i don't know what it was but i just i didn't fancy it in the end but yeah, you know, i don't end up placing down like the actual laundry basket i place down a laundry basket that's fake like it's not actually a functioning one but as well as that you would have seen that i quickly just did the spa the way the lighting ended up turning out in the spa room i'm just so happy with because it looks so calm and just so peaceful and by the way in case you didn't know your sims can hire massage therapists to come to your lot whether you're in a rental whether you're in a residential wherever you are if there is like a massage table on the lot you can call up services and you can get a little massage therapist to come to you and give your sim a massage for free like no charge whatsoever and so you might notice when i was doing kind of like a little hallway outside between like the sauna the bathroom and then the spa i placed down these little like wall decals on top of each of the doors and i was thinking that oftentimes there is always like a, a massage therapist on this lot somewhere and so when they're hired they can kind of come through into that little section and they've got like a little symbol on in terms of like what door they need to go into which i just thought was like a nice little detail that i thought i'd mention but in the actual spa itself i end up placing down another massage table so there ends up being one outside on the third floor balcony like i think i've already mentioned and there is also one of the massage chairs now previously your sims could only get like I think it was a hand massage and then a foot massage on them. But then maybe like two years back, roughly, we got the Spa Day refresh where basically they went back and they refreshed the Spa Day game pack and they gave us a new version of the chair. So the chair that I used in the little spa room, that's like an update version of the original chair. But then they also gave us the ability. So your Sims can now go and get like their nails done like if they can go and get their hands done they can go and get their feet done and so i was thinking the sim that lives here maybe they often hire someone to come around get their nails done maybe they have a pedicure or something i just i love that idea and also by the way you probably don't even have to have a sim that's really into wellness to live in this lot i mean like i said you can make it into a rental if you fancy you could definitely get your sims to come here on like a little staycation with their partner or just on their own if they just want a little bit of peace maybe you've got like a a really chaotic household and your sim just needs a break they just need a breather on their own they could just definitely come here where it's not like overly cluttered i feel like you could probably pass off as a rental and not just a residential but yeah, your sims can get their nails done. They can get a massage in that room. It's very peaceful and it's very zen. I also placed down like another tray into that room, like I said. I've, I do like loads of different custom trays throughout all the different rooms in the build. But in that room, that ends up being some like, some individual places of like pebbles. So you know when your sims get a... Oh, I'm not going to lie, my my um, my terminology with massage is not quite up to scratch. don't really know what I'm talking about. But there's like a hot stone massage, I think is what it's called. When you get a massage and you get like hot stones put onto your back, your sims can do that in the game. And so I place down them hot stones onto like a little tray to make it look like they're ready for the sim when they want that kind of massage. And there is also some like extra towels and there's also like a little drinks tray in the corner. But then moving on from that, you can see that I've now moved on to the upstairs portion. And I started off by doing kind of like the second lounge room. Now, like I already mentioned, I did decide to cut out a few rooms here and there where I felt like it wasn't necessary for me to keep them in. And one of the rooms just so happens to be behind this bedroom that I've moved on and I've started decorating. So if you can see that kind of like walkway area that's basically what it is it's basically just like a fancy fancied up hallway but i did decide to cut out the footage for that because it was it didn't it doesn't serve any purpose it's just like your sims walk up through the stairs and also i did decide to cut out the housekeeper's bedroom but hear me out the reason why is because it's very similar to this bedroom that i'm decorating over here and i felt like he was basically watching the same kind of room be built twice it's just a different bed and so again there'll be screenshots of it but yeah if you can see there is a different like hallway space behind the bedroom that i'm decorating and furnishing and you haven't seen it 
I did purposely cut it out because I wanted to keep in footage that I personally thought was the most interesting and it's always so hard to gauge but with that particular like hallway space I spent so much time just trying to make all these like built-in units and just try and make things feel a little bit more like custom to this penthouse and so again there will be screenshots of it at the end but that is what that is if you can see it behind this bedroom but the bedroom that I'm currently decorating this is the bedroom that I'm deciding between do I have a teenage daughter living here with her her mum who's a fitness influencer or do I make it so this fitness influencer just happens to live with her friend I feel like I'm more so leaning towards a teenage daughter because I feel like for gameplay that might be more interesting just in terms of my safe file if we've got a sim that goes to a Copperdale High School that you can interact with when you're at school and they're a little bit they, they might think too much of themselves and maybe they think too much of themselves because their their mum is a person in like some sort of like limelight or something that was the kind of idea that I got if it was going to be a teenager but again it could just be a friend that just so happens to live with the influencer I don't know how the influencer managed to have the bigger and better room though maybe she would have bought it and then the, the friend just like moved in with her. I actually have no idea, but this is one of the bedrooms. And in here, I tried to make it look like the, the bed itself was kind of like built into the wall. Now, this is something that I try to do in every single bedroom. I basically tried to make it feel like you were in almost like a, a hotel or like some sort of resort, because I feel like quite often when you go to hotels, it's quite standard to have like, you know, like your bedside table, oftentimes they'll just be like little floating shelves, but they'll be coming out of the wall. And then the bed will also be built into the wall or some sort of like wall structure piece, if you get what I mean. I feel like that's quite common when it comes around to doing hotel rooms. And I just wanted all of the bedrooms in this penthouse to feel like that in some sort of way. And so what I did for the actual like wall decoration pieces is I basically on the first like initial bit where the bed is i placed down some marble side tables they are from the dying out game pack i use them so much within this build but then i placed down the little like wall decal pieces they're the same ones that i used downstairs when i was making like the custom kind of like kitchen counter pieces they're the same ones i just i honestly i use them so much in this build but i placed them down to the wall and i basically rotated some so then we had kind of like a little cutout section within the wall itself i then got them wall decal pieces from snowy escape the ones that are kind of like individual planks of wood and then i merged them into the wall but i tried to make it seem like there was a little bit of a slit in between the panel and it just kind of it broke up a bit and it was just kind of like easier to look at rather than just like a load of wooden planks if that makes any sense and then on top of the marble side tables i then just tried to clutter it up and try and make it feel like it could be someone's bedroom whether it be like a teenager whether it just be like a young adult it's just got kind of like generic clutter on it i placed down a few different like paintings i rotated them with the tool mod to make it look like they're they're leaning and they're not just like plonked up onto the wall i then placed down i think like some candles and then I think like a few different vases and a few different stones here and there but that was pretty much the gist of what I did in terms of like how to make the custom beds. Thing is though when it came around to doing like the other side of the room I didn't know what to do because I couldn't really like create too much of a built-in unit because there was going to be an ensuite or like a, a, a door going on into a bathroom and so I couldn't really create too much of like a custom wall structure piece because I didn't want it to like in like obscure the door and make it so the door wasn't usable and so what i end up doing is i end up placing down some more of them wooden planks to try to follow them on throughout the wall i then got them curtain rod pieces i then tried to carry them onto the ceiling so it looks like the curtains could pretty much be wrapped around like half of the room i then placed down a wardrobe the wardrobe itself is from the industrial loft kit and then i placed down a little tiny desk which the desk is from I think Dream Home Decorator. I never, honestly, I never use that desk, but this kind of like lighter wood tone was pretty much the only wood tone that I tried to stick to when it came around to doing the interior furnishings because normally in my builds, I only like to stick to like one type of wood. I, I'm, I'm not someone that likes to mix, you know, like orange wood with lighter woods. It's just, I mean, the orange wood is just not my cup of tea by any means, but I try and stick to like this lighter wood. But yeah, this little desk from Dream Home Decorator was like the perfect fit. I then plopped down a little PC onto it. I then got a clock and I rotated it to make it look like it was leaning, placed down some like individual like magazines and stuff and just tried to make it feel like either like a young adult or a teenager, or maybe even potentially like a, a kid could be in that room. It's not really to a certain life state. It's kind of like a, a generic bedroom. Again, I'm just still unsure on what kind of route I want to take this sims storyline and kind of like the household in but 
Anyway, as you can see, I've now moved over and I've started furnishing the bathroom. So this is the only bathroom, like I said, that I'm gonna be showing just because the bathrooms took me honestly so long. Like you think the footage for this one bathroom is long. The one for the upstairs master bedroom, it took me even longer. Like, it took me so long because you see these marble side tables, basically in the upstairs bathroom, I use them on half the walls, but I size some up and I size some down to make it look like there is multiple like steps in the marble. And then I merged in like the bathtub into the marble. And it's just, it was a lot. There was a lot of footage for that one. And so I thought the best way to show you the bathrooms is to show you this one because it's a similar kind of like color scheme. It's similar kind of objects, but just in a bit of a different formation. But in here, I made a custom shower, which if you've been watching me for any sort of like time duration, you've probably seen me do this a ton of times. I, I've said this before, whenever I have the space and the chance to make a custom shower unit within the game, I just normally prefer to do so because I'm just not a massive fan of some of the different showers that we have in the game because like some of the showers might have like a certain backsplash and like the shower itself is like really pretty. It might have like a really nice glass door. It might have like a nice like color of like the shower head and all the different like taps and stuff but then sometimes it's like a backsplash and normally I'm just not a massive fan of the different backsplashes on showers and so whenever I have the chance to I normally try and make my own showers basically what I do is you get a little like individual shower piece we have two in the game we have one from snowy escape and we have one from discover university i normally always use the one that is from discover university because the one that we got from snowy escape has kind of like a little it's like a little mirror on it which is really cute but it's normally meant to be for like onsen bath houses which are like community lots so you use the discover university kind of like shower place it down i normally like to put like a bit of a platform onto the shower i then just get these kind of like glass slabs they're meant to be put into the floor we got them from the island living expansion pack basically i placed them down i then rotated them with the tool mod to 90 degrees so they were kind of like standing upright i then just merged them into the wall i deleted the wall and then it looks like they're just individual glass planks and it just, it looks a little bit more like a custom shower than, I don't know, like a, a window or something. I mean, because I used to use a window. When I used to create custom showers, I used to normally use like a window to do it. But now I normally go for the method of using these like little wooden, like glass floor panels. That's actually what they're meant to be. You're meant to put them on the floor and they can be like, used for like skylights and stuff. But I normally never use them for skylights, but always use them in a bathroom and try and create showers out of them. But you would have seen as well in the shower actually, I tried to make it look like there was, oh, you know, sometimes when you go somewhere and they've got like a bit of a fancy shower and they have like a shower shelf built in to the wall where I was building quite a fancy, quite luxury penthouse i wanted to try and have that idea in the bathroom so basically what i did is i got these wall signs again they're the same ones that i've been using throughout the whole entire build they were just in a different color swatch but i basically popped them onto the wall i then rotated some 90 degrees so then i had like a little bit of a an empty cube space where i could have placed another one but instead of that i changed the wall color behind the actual wall signs itself so it would look like it was a bit of a darker color then it gave it a little bit more kind of like a structure it looked like it was a shelf and there was a bit of depth there i then got these little kind of like soaps that we got from the snowy escape expansion pack i was thinking maybe they're like shampoo conditioner or something i plopped them on to kind of like the ledge or where the signs was i then got this it's almost like a little oh what's it called like a shower caddy i think that's the terminology of it but it looks like it's got like a loafer loofer what's it called you know the thing that you wash yourself with don't know what it's called but it looks like it's got one of them on it so what i did is i sized it down i then hid it within the wall shelves so then the actual shower just looks like it's a custom shower with custom like glass pieces it's then got the shampoo and the conditioner and then it's also got the little scrub a dub dubs thing i don't know what they're called Do you know what i'm talking about I, I, loaf or loofah i don't know what it's called but it looks like it's got that but instead of it being attached to other items it just looks like it's been hung from a hook from the actual shelf itself if that makes any sense i don't know i was really proud of that though but anyway moving on from that as you would have seen i've now moved on to the upstairs portion and i'm finally going around and doing the master bedroom so in here hopefully you can see what i mean by the way that i said that you kind of walk in through the door there's kind of like a bit of a hallway and within the hallway you have the bathroom door which goes into the bathroom and then you have another door which goes into like the home office kind of like content creation room so you would have just seen me do the home office space but i did just want to point out one thing that i used in that room which i was so happy that i finally got to use in the build because i think in total i think i've used it once it was the big semicircle windows honestly we've had them in the game for years do i use them 
literally never because they're so hard to fit into a build and i just had the perfect place to place them in into this build it's kind of like at the back of the build you've kind of got like a, a 180 view of the whole entire like city almost and it was just like the perfect room to end up being like the the home office content room so in there i placed down the little video station i got a sim to come in and like upgrade one so then that way i can kind of get an idea for how big the object was once you have like the hd camera and then also the ring light but i plopped that in kind of like in front of the windows and then on like the other wall there's a tiny little desk and it's got a computer because annoyingly the the get famous video station is kind of like a corner desk and it looks like it's got a computer but your sims can only edit videos on it they can't interact with it like a normal computer would and so i wanted there to be also kind of like a little separate pc setup and there is also some like spare lights in the corner i have like another side table with like another custom tray and then i also have like a big neon sign on one of the walls i was thinking that's maybe like their backdrop in their videos or something but over here you can see that i'm now moving over and focusing on like the main the main bedroom like space like the main like headboard because pretty much it, what i'm doing is just a really big headboard if you want to put it that way so like the other bedroom that i showed you i pretty much did a very similar concept in the sense of i wanted it to make it look like the bed itself was kind of like built in and it just feels a little bit like a result especially this bedroom i mean your sims can literally walk out of them doors and they've got a massage table like they can literally just get a massage about 10 feet away from their bed i wanted it to feel like a, a bit of a result maybe maybe that's why it feels so like custom because the sim who is really into wellness maybe they want to always feel like they're on holiday or something and so that's why they wanted the interior of their house to maybe feel like a hotel I just really like the look of it though but it's pretty much the same the same practice that i did in the other bedroom i placed down a ton of different sideboards along the wall i then got some wall decorations them same ones that i've been using throughout the whole entire build to the same ones that i used in the kitchen counter like when i merged them in but i basically put them onto the wall i rotated a few of them i then got them wooden planks again the ones from snow escape and i then merged them into the wall i then got these little tiny pendant lights the ones that i've used are from the uh, oh what's the new expansion pack called the growing no not growing together get together no what's it called no growing it was growing together do you know what honestly the dlc names i've mentioned this a few times now but since we've got the growing together dlc it's really thrown me off i used to be i thought anyway quite good at remembering every single name but where we've got growing together and then get together and then get famous and then get to what it's just so confusing honestly trying to remember them all but the the little pendant lights that i've used we got them from the new expansion pack, the Growing Together EP, and they have come very quickly. It's some of my favourite lights to use, but I plan on like plopped them down into the wooden planks, and then yeah, placed down some little side tables either side the bed. But now, as you can see, I've now moved on into the last room, which is technically the bedroom, but it's kind of like a little walk-in wardrobe. So I placed down some floor-to-ceiling windows from the bedroom, kind of like looking in to the wardrobe itself because it made it feel a little bit more open and less of a squished space, if that makes any sense. Plus, I also and it felt a little bit more like luxury and a little bit more i don't know it just made it feel a little bit more expensive i don't know if you understand what i mean by that but i really like the look of it i then placed down an archway which is kind of like a similar height and then in here i placed down a ton of different like shelving units and chest of drawers all from the uh, dream home decorator game pack where you can like make your own custom wardrobe pieces i then plopped in some like clothes and like some shoes and like little boxes here and there and then i'm gonna go around the room finish it off add some final touches and that is pretty much it so anyway guys i'm gonna end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my gallery id is jessicapireyt or you can just search for the hashtag jessicapireyt or just the hashtag jessicapire as always thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always if you do like my content then please do subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye guys.